Okay, now that we have covered how to enter data into the text box on the web form, the next thing that we're gonna, we're gonna demonstrate is how to click the button that's on that form. In this case, this button right here. So I'm gonna right click it, do inspect element. So we're doing pretty much the same thing that we do with the text box. However, now we're doing it to the button. We can see that this is an input type, it's an image. That's just the source of the image. But these are the keys that we wanna look for. Value is equal to submit and then name is equal to image. The one that we're probably gonna go for is the value equals submit. That's gonna be the easier one to go, go with. And I have some code here that I've already created. So there's two ways that you can go about clicking a button on a web form. I'm gonna show you method one for clicking. And that's just gonna be object IE dot document dot get element by ID and then submit dot click. Like this would be the name of the ID. Now, on this page, I don't see that this button right here has an ID. So you could try using get element by name and then use the name image, but that's not going to work on this page. So I just want to show you that's method one, but we're not going to use method one for this page. The method that we're going to use is the one that we, that we have used in method four, but that, that was for a text box. But either way, you still use the same code for a button as well. And let me go on and just do method two for click. And I'm just gonna copy and paste that code that we originally had. The only thing that I'm gonna change out is in the top when I was showing you how to type in the text box, we were doing get attribute by name. We're not gonna do it for this one. For, for here, we're gonna use the value. And the value is equal to submit. So I'm gonna type in if input element dot get attribute and then value so we're changing that instead of name it's going to be value is equal to submit if the input element dot get attribute value is equal to, to submit then this is what we're going to do if the condition is met input element dot click now the last video i showed what this for loop was um what, what the for loop was for in case you missed the previous video all we're doing here is we're setting up a variable to get all of the elements that have the input tag name. And then once we have all those objects in a collection, now we're just gonna loop through them for each input element and the input elements. Do this, con do this condition. And if the condition is met, then click it. Input element dot click. So let's go on and try this code out for clicking it. So we're already typing in product test and then we're clicking it. So I'm gonna hit F5. And I'm going to do enter data. Okay, I needed to pause the video there because unfortunately, as I went to go test this code, my internet went down. And that's always a beauty with broadband internet. There's a couple of storms in the area as I record this. And as a result, I guess the internet isn't as reliable, even though we're in the States. So I just want to explain, I don't want this to ruin the video. This code does work. Had I executed this code, I had already tried it previously. This would click the, the button that I showed previously on the website. And if you want to try this code out, I mean, by all means, um, please do it. You have method one for clicking and method two for this specific website, method two worked. Again, every website is going to be created differently. So just give it a shot, try it out and good luck.